Boss Lady Conversations with Monica L. And Coach Kaya. Boss ladies are vulnerable, authentic, love, hopeful, abundant, respected. Boss ladies are you. you. Welcome back, listeners. Coach Kai and I missed you so much this summer. Oh my yes, God. Ooh, it's been a summer, but know that we have been working extremely hard to produce some amazing, thought provoking shows with phenomenal guests for season two of what? Boss Lady Conversations with Yay. Coach Kai and Monica L. I am Monica L., a boss lady, Cleveland born, LA raised, on a journey of freedom and happiness. As an educator, entrepreneur, self-published author, and poet, I believe all things are possible through synergy. Let's get it. My IG handle is at Monica L underscore writer. Yes, Monica L. We are so, so, so excited to make an exciting announcement as we prepare to travel to an amazing event for creatives. So please tune in because you won't want to miss this opportunity. I'm your girl, Coach Kaya, boss wife, mompreneur, sister, writer, and certified transformational coach. What do I do? I help people access their power, heal the trauma of their past, and reignite their dreams. Why? Because the miracles that you want in your life really do matter. My IG handle is at I am Coach Kaya. As always, boss ladies, I mean, it's just been so overwhelming the love that we've received from all of you we get text messages that just warm our hearts on the perfect day where we could really use the encouragement so we just want to shout out everyone who has lent their support listened to our show given us feedback shared it with someone you care about heartfelt thank you a heartfelt thank you to all of our boss lady guests past present and future we appreciate you so much for sharing your journey with all of us we're here to honor our power, give voice to our experiences so that we can leave a legacy of love, light, wisdom along the way. So we thank you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We do this for you. Yes, Coach Kaya. We do it for them. We do it for us. We do it for everyone. We do it for our legacy. We do it for generations to come. And we do it just straight from our heart. So your continued support allows us to secure some phenomenal guests who graciously show up authentically and tell their stories for all of us to do what win and <laughs> yes. win win <laughs> win win so we love to know what's your favorite boss lady shows to date and how has boss lady conversation supported your growth feel free to reach out to us on social media or email us at bossladyconversations.com that is bossladyconversations at gmail.com. We are so thankful for God for giving us this amazing platform for creativity, growth mindset, healing, support, and intentionality. Yes. And the thing about our show is that we always want you to walk away feeling like your time was well spent. We know how valuable your time is. We know how busy life can be how many demands that you have on you and we just want you to feel like this is your place where you can kind of lean back light your candles you know sip a little something whether it's hot tea wine whatever it is that helps you to feel bossed up relaxed abundant and happy this is your brave space and we're just so happy and proud to share this with you Woo, Coach Kaya, that was a word. You know, you always get me when you say sip on something, but anyway, <laughs> we won't go there. Show still going. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, today, 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 I have the pleasure and the opportunity to interview my sister, Boss Lady Conversations host, Coach Kaya. Coach Kaya Kane brings a wealth of experience, wisdom, and passion for helping people through her transformational coaching movement. In addition to holding various people-driven roles like parent engagement specialist, director of strategic alliance, program manager, scrum manager, and certified professional coach, she is also a graduate of the internationally recognized Leadership That Works Certified Transformational Coaching Program. In early 2022, she was awarded her professional certificate of coaching credential from the International Coach Federation. 
She holds an MA in communications from Syracuse University, SI Newhouse School of Public Communications, and a BA in journalism from Clark Atlanta University. Mm -hmm. Coach Kaya's specialty is tapping into transformative coaching pathways and holistic practice that helps clients from all over the world infuse love, passion, and purpose into everything they do. And her latest offering, So Biz, <laughs> a new book for entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and creative souls. Coach Kaya and other contributing authors support those who aspire to bring even more ease and positivity into the hard work that they already do or desire to do. And one of her pieces, The Direction of Yes, she even <laughs> shared her own journey to becoming a certified professional life coach. So Biz is a number one <laughs> bestseller on Amazon. Reserve your signed copy of So Biz with free shipping for a limited time only. So please go immediately, like immediately to <laughs> coachkaya.com slash specials.offers. Woo! My sister, Woo! Coach Kaya. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, sister. I just can't stop smiling. I'm like blushing over here. I'm, I'm not used to being in the guest seat. <laughs> I know, and I love it. And your bio, when I tell you, that is a bio and it still does not amount to all your accolades. Mm -hmm. Just you as a woman, you as a wife, you as a mother, a sister and a friend. That's just a snippet mm -hmm. of your professional accolades. So I cannot wait to get into this conversation. So all of our new and continuing listeners can really learn about you because you are truly, truly amazing. <laughs> so coach kaya you truly truly as i just read utilize every minute of your day which is a reflection of your growing bio of accomplishments what do you feel is important that contributed to this work like what do you feel oh sister so that was just so beautiful. You are such a beautiful soul and you have just inspired me on so many levels, personally, professionally, spiritually. It just goes on and on. So I just want you to know how much I appreciate our connection, how much I appreciate our baby boss lady conversations podcast. And I just know that God is blessing us. So the sky's the limit. So for you, for us, it's just the sky's the limit. So thank you. <laughs> yes. yes, I totally agree with that. And this has just been really an opportunity for us to share our journey, our light and everything that we have done. So I definitely appreciate you sharing that. And there are obstacles, but we will touch on that later. And we know that there are so many beautiful things that have come just from us and just being and this is what we're going to show with each and every one. So, you know, again, as a coach. So tell us a little bit about how you got into the coaching aspect and who inspired you. As a coach, I've always been drawn to opportunities to help people find their soul's purpose. You know, I didn't know it was called coaching at the time, but I was always that person that just celebrated people going after their dreams, right? Like I can't even watch American Idol or anything without crying. Like that's how you know, because I get so happy when I see people actually going for it, stepping out of their comfort zones and being like, here's my chance. I'm going for it. And nothing is better than that to me. So when I went through my coaching program and I got my first client, when she reached her goal I felt like it was me reaching my goal and I will never forget that feeling it was such a wonderful feeling to be a part of someone's transformation and so when the when the opportunity to participate in soul biz was presented to me by my good friend Dr. Lauren Puma I wasn't sure if I could do it at first you know I was really busy with life I was trying to get some rest and just before the deadline um, to sign up, I spoke with you about your book, Still a Lady, The College Process Made Simple, My Positive Affirmation Journals, all available on Amazon, by the way. But you really encouraged me. You were like, I think you should go for it. You know, I was trying to figure out how and when. 
And then, you know, something inside of you just says, do it. You, you take a moment and you take all of the obstacles out of the equation and you just get it done. And I, I know it was the grace of God that gave me the strength to do it. And I also know that that was what I was supposed to be doing at that time. I, no, love so. I love that. You know, <laughs> I think that's what one of the things that's unique about us and maybe, or I just think it's unique is that we do pour into each other and we know like, you know, days be hectic, they be long, but you truly are a writer, Coach Kaya. Like mm-hmm. you coaching, yes. Coaching is something that you've been doing and then now you're certified in it. So it was an easy match. But writing, I mean, you know, just from reading your bio, you have years of writing. Mm. And for those that don't know, Coach Kaya is the one who writes our scripts for our show. <laughs> and as I'm learning more, or as we learn more about podcasting, it's like, you know, we are a team of two and a half. <laughs> and we are <laughs> we doing it. And it's amazing as we grow because I just look at that our podcast is sharpening our tools. So when you told me about this amazing opportunity, I was like, go for it, go for it. You've written so many different articles that are available online about dating. I mean, you are a writer, you are a writer. So to me, this was just unnatural. And there are so many more things in store that our Boss Lady Conversation listeners are gonna learn. So they just have to stay tuned where you're gonna see more about Coach Kaya and her writing. So with that being said, we know you have a very full life personally and professionally. Personally, you're you're cared for and loved by your supportive husband. You got your sunshine. (laughs) And professionally, you have so many just endeavors that we talked about. So how do you honor your spirit's happiness? Oh, that's such a great question, Monica L. So for me, honoring my soul's purpose means seeking joy and finding it. Mm. You know, I always ask myself, do I really want to be doing this? Is this the best use of my time? Or is this an opportunity for joy and expansion? And for examples, like Boss Lady Conversations, we work on Boss Lady Conversations after work, (laughs) like in the night, in the morning, you know, it's like, we're constantly finding time to to sow into our dreams. And that's always a good sign for me. I know that it matters if I'm willing to utilize my time to sow into my dreams. Yes. So I can't tell you how good it feels to just expand our ter- territory and come back even stronger for season two. Yes. And like you said, I, I do feel very blessed to have a husband who believes in my dreams just as much as I do. Like he's always asking me like, you got, you have the podcast tonight? You got the podcast? <laughs> Are you going to your podcast? <laughs> you know, and I appreciate that so much. And especially my sunshine who inspires me to push through because that's my legacy right there, right? That's so right. every struggle that I overcome, he's going to be blessed for it. Ooh, I like that. I got chills. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, you are truly a woman that's doing it all. And, and we do talk about that, you know, the balance. Um, because again, we want to be true and authentic to our listeners Yes, we do have a full-time job. We have our podcast. We have our personal lives. But we do this because this is our passion. And we feel like this is our purpose. And this is our happiness. And so we just get so much joy from having our followers, having our subscribers. You know, (laughs) however you reach out. When we look at our data analytics and just see that we're in so many different countries. Countries we didn't even know where they are. (laughs) Haven't been to yet. Yeah. (laughs) We're like, we are on the map. People are finding something to relate to. And that's yeah. what we want to do with Boss Lady Conversations. And I feel like season two is going to bring that even more. Yes. So with that being said, what advice do you give to boss ladies who want to live a more purposeful life, but have so many things standing mm-hmm. in their way? Oh, we, Monica L. We talk about this all the time. Because we can be busy, overwhelmed, overbooked, and spent because we do not prioritize. We do not prioritize. Everything's a priority, right? Everything should have been done yesterday. Those dishes, your business, invoices, your work emails, everything can be a priority at the same time. So that's one thing I would say 
to give advice to our amazing boss ladies out there, prioritize, okay? Because when, what you prioritize determines what you accomplish in life. Yeah. So everything can't hold the same weight at the same time or else you'll get nothing accomplished. And it's very frustrating to live like that. The other thing I would say is affirm the life you have and the life you want. Affirmations help us find that link between the gratitude we have and the faith that moves us forward, right? And so we, I don't want to give it away, but we have some ladies for season two that live, breathe, and dream affirmations. And we love that because that's what we're doing as well. So being willing to affirm yourself. And even if, you know, you look around, it may not be every, your life may not be everything you want it to be right now, but you do have a life. And there is beauty in it. Mm -hmm. So it does deserve to be acknowledged. And then while you're acknowledging it, you say, and also (laughs) I want that mansion. I want that beautiful business. I want to inspire others. It's always like a also once you acknowledge what you already have. And I guess number three, I would say pay attention to your circle of support. You said in Monica L, who are on your board of directors? Are the people on your board of directors hating on you? Are they available to you when you really need support? Do they secretly bet against you? Or are they the first ones when you have a book? They can't wait. Where can I get it? Where can I? Give me five. Five. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) Right there, right? And so like, those are the people that they don't just talk about it. They're not just giving you lip service. They're like, sign me up and then you also need to be that person for them right because it's all about reciprocity and love because if you give love you'll receive love so check your circle of support all right well i don't <laughs> know if there's any questions okay i remember that i'm interviewing you yes i got paid okay yes <laughs> i'm definitely not confused and i mean again you said so much and said it so eloquently I am a firm believer in waking up and just being thankful for breath and waking up and being mobile. Like you cannot take the things that we think are small for granted because they're not. And like you say, being grateful for what you have. And we know that Lady O always says that as well, you know, being grateful for what you have, but saying also you have a journey and you have goals. So that means you're keep going because you're striving to those goals. There it is. You're, yeah. And you're right about knowing about your circle. I think as you get older, you become more mindful of what you need and you're, you should be moving with intentional, being very intentional about who you surround yourself with. What does that look like? And then having those boundaries. You can love people from afar. You can pray for people. (laughs) And you're right, pour into me. And I love one of our boss ladies from season one. um, She has a project In her project, she was like, if you could just share this, it it doesn't cause anything to subscribe, to like, to share. Contribution doesn't always mean monetary. Support us by just watching the show. That makes a difference. Or commenting. Again, it doesn't cost anything to do that, but it means so much for us creatives out here. So I so love all of that. And sometimes you just got to let people know how to support you. You (laughs) You can't assume that they know that, oh, you like my post. That means something. It, it really does. It means something. You taking the time to watch our show. It means something. It means something. Again, click the subscribe button. <laughs> it means something. Go to YouTube. Click that yes, yes. <laughs> a thousand. That is the number. Yes, it means something. But we won't go down that road yet. But yeah. <laughs> so Coach Kaya, <laughs> so many questions, so many questions. And it's for the listeners. And it's for me too, because I'm still learning on this journey. So what do you think the main difference of Boss Lady Conversations season one in season two is and how has it been impactful in your life oh oh my gosh so much so much growth that's what I would say we've grown so much you know when we first got on this platform we were like is the mic on like what's happening and we just started I just love that we stepped into our courage and we showed up 
And then we started to get more comfortable, right? We started to have more banter. We started to, to, to think about the questions that we wanted to ask the guests and, and really dive a little deeper. It's like we started to spread our wings and we're still very much at the beginning and we're only going to get better. And I think that's what listeners are really going to hear, see, and feel because we're now on YouTube for season two. Uh, you will get to see our faces. You will get to see our expressions. You will get to see us and feel us, you know, in, the, in, a, in a whole new way. And that took a lot of courage and I'm really proud of us. And that's why we want everyone to subscribe to Boss Lady Conversations podcast on YouTube so that you can see us and you'll be notified of when we're on and when we post our shows and just be a part of the journey the way that our listeners already are. I'm really proud of that. Yes, I love that too. And oh gosh, yeah, we have had a long journey of creative endeavors and I feel like this one we found what really works for us mm -hmm. in this time. And like you said, to show up and be our true authentic self. Season one was audio only podcast. And you're right. This season, people are really seeing us. Obviously, our followers on social media, they see us. But now you are seeing us, our facial expressions, our responses <laughs> in real time. And it did take a lot of growth to figure out how to operate all of this. For our listeners who've been listening, we're on opposite coasts. And I think that when people come on and they realize that, they be like, wow. Because some people really think that we are like next to each other talking, which is a compliment to yeah. us. We wish we were next to each other talking, but no, <laughs> in theory we are. And like you say, YouTube and just so many different platforms in addition to Apple, Google, Spotify, Our Heart Radio, and just knowing all the opportunities and that now people internationally know us. And like you say, the growth, the coming of being your authentic self. And our guests have shared so much. They have so much poured into our listeners and to us. So it's like, we got to, we got to match day level. So it's like, yes, yes, and yes. So woo, yes. So thank you, yes. Kaya. You have definitely coached me through this. <laughs> you so coached me too I, I, and trained me through. <laughs> yes, yes. And so much more to come. So what are some of the exciting things you wish to share about season two? Well, I just want to say that I am so thankful to all of the boss ladies from season one and season two who trusted us with their stories and their amazing legacies. Let me tell you, Monica L., when I'm talking to a boss lady and she's feeling down, I send her our podcast. Mm. I really do. And it just means so much to know that Something that God gave us to share with others is making an impact. That to me is everything. I'm like, just take a listen if you get a chance. I'm praying for you. I hope that you feel better. And here you go. It feels like I'm giving them a gift. Yes. Because I know that when I listen to it, it encourages me. I listen to our shows all the time. And it encourages me. I'm laughing. You know, I'm, I'm remembering. I'm being a listener. So that's why I know if it blesses my soul, I'm I'm gonna be the first one to share it with someone else because I'm a good I'm good for referrals. <laughs> yes, I yes. love that you said that, and I feel the same way. It's like I can actually listen to our show and be a listener and not critique, which is really hard for me. <laughs> that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and really gain some nuggets that I didn't even hear. We always say gym drop and things like that. Mm -hmm. But to be an active listener is very different than being active in the moment. Because when obviously we're interviewing, we're in the moment, we hear things and we're like, yes, that's amazing. But when you can just sit back and listen mm. and then you can share that with others. And we've had some amazing professionals in various areas and industries that I feel like they had overall messages that everyone can get something from. It wasn't just something that, oh, only this population can understand and receive something from. And our goal has always been just to encourage people. We're not just doing this to do this. We're doing no. this because 
this started in the pandemic. You know, we're still in the one, just even though we move a little different now, but <laughs> we are still in the global pandemic, but we we feel like people need something to connect to. So again, we appreciate you taking 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes out of your day <laughs> to be a part of this movement, to share, to hopefully to laugh, to grow, to hear something of encouragement. Yeah. And we just have so much more coming. So yes. We do. Yes. And I want to speak the names. On um, both Life Conversations, we really believe in speaking the names. I want to speak the names of our boss ladies who share their time, their talent, their love, their passion, and their journey with us for season one. Dr. I uh, Aisha O'Malley, Dr. Aisha O'Malley, Huey Scott, Shanita Lou, C. Nicole, Jovan English, Tisa Smart Washington, Autumn, Michelle, Carla Hargrove, Janine Letford, Mimi Cousseau. Ama Canado, Adrian Draper, Dr. LaShawn Paul, Siobhan Annette, Cindy McCarthy, and Stella Belgard Scranton. We salute you, we honor you, and we truly, truly appreciate you, boss ladies. We advise everyone to re-listen to their shows. They, like Monica L said, drop gems. They share their hearts. They will inspire you, and you inspire us. So we just want to keep that synergy going. Yes, Coach Kaya, thank you. Oh my God, we did do some amazing work. That's a lot of people. <laughs> and we enjoy each and every one of them. And each one we either knew personally or was through a referral. And we feel like now they are a part of this. They are part of this movement. They're part of our Boss Lady Conversations family. Each of the shows, they give their contact information. They would love for you to reach out. You could just reach out and say hi. You know, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed your show. Yes, they may have products. Yes, they may have services. If it aligns with, with your vision or what you need, do that as well. But just reach out, follow them. Again, support, just yeah. follow, like. And with that, we really want to thank each and every one of you for helping us make our dream come true. Your willingness to share our journey and our dreams is what inspires us to be live <laughs> of this Boss Lady Conversations <laughs> movement each and every day. And now for some special announcements. I know y'all about, please. <laughs> Coach Kai and I will be serving as VIP guests and speakers for the fourth uh -oh. annual. Hey, VIP, <laughs> VIP, that's us. Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> for our for the fourth annual Afros and Audios podcast. Festival in Philadelphia. This event is not one you want to miss. No. There is plenty of networking opportunities and along with life changing events. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> we said yes. This opportunity is such a blessing. We definitely don't want to keep the good news of Boss Lady Conversations to ourselves. So we are so happy and grateful that we'll be able to spread the word and connect with other amazing podcasters learn more about the business and I know that so many people have been asking us how do you do a podcast I would like to do a podcast you know where do I start and so we'll be speaking on those topics and more at the podcast fest and we would love for you to join us we are thrilled 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 to be a part of the fourth annual afros and audio pod fest so let's say you can't travel to Philadelphia you can attend virtually because you know everything has a virtual option now <laughs> that's the way the world is and it's just so wonderful because you're still able to participate in beautiful events like this one so we will be sharing our special link with you so that you can sign up on our affiliate link and get that special code and discounted price and we just appreciate you and if you come and see us in philly we'll be more than happy to see you there as well Yes, yes. Oh my God. Coach Kai and I are going to be in Philly. And you know, we're going to go live. So, you know, we're going to remind you. We're going to be like, hey, we here. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, we get to be together on the East Coast. And y'all know I love the East Coast, even though I reside on the West Coast right now. But yes, <laughs> but yes, the virtual opportunity, or if you can come in person, maybe we'll have a special gift for you if you come in person. So, we really want you to come out if it makes sense and 
we're, we're just excited. Afros and audios. I mean, may we say more? Like, <laughs> this is going to be, this is us. This is us. And, and I just feel like we're so excited about, we always talk about synergy, the other podcasters out there, just the opportunity to learn. As we said, we're coming up on our first year. We're so excited of all that we've accomplished. We're so excited of all the goals we have in store. And we know that you're going to help us reach those goals because we're going to keep reminding you to like, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> you'll get tired of me saying it. So you just going to go ahead yeah. and do it. You know, it's so <laughs> funny that you, what you said the other day, you were like, now I see why people always say like, subscribe, follow. <laughs> Yeah, like, yes, like, we, are, no, we are now those people. Right. We're like, yes, we are those people now. But now you see us. Hopefully you feel our energy. You feel our passion. You know that we are real. We are here. I'm the emotional one. So I'll get choked up after anything. You'll be like, oh my God, let me not cry. But that's just me showing up as my true authentic self. And that's what really Boss Lady Conversations has allowed me. Because again, if we can invite guests who do it, so I have to also be authentic to everyone too. And I'm just thankful again for everyone who's poured into us because we didn't know. I mean, we knew what we was doing, but we didn't know like it was going to have this magnitude and just, you know, the domestic and international following that just melts my heart. So with that being said, we want to also thank our listeners for encouraging us for everything that we are doing. And as a result, you will be able to purchase Boss Lady Podcast merchandise in the coming months. So yes, we're going to have merchandise. And you know, we're going to let you know. So again, you have to follow us on social media and every platform because we will be posting that. So here's a quick recap of some of the mini gems that Coach Kaya, boss, wife, mompreneur, sister, writer, certified transformational coach, <laughs> and so biz author share with us today. See, boom, Monica L could do this. <laughs> Number one, what you prioritize determines what you accomplish in life. That's pretty self-explanatory. Number two, affirm the life you have and the life you want. Affirmation helps us find the link between gratitude we have and the faith as we move forth. I mm. love that, Coach Kaya. Number three, pay attention to your circle of support. Are the people closest to you speaking life into mm. your dreams or pulling you down? Once you decide, make the necessary changes. Woo. Well, thank you, Coach Kaya. <laughs> Is there anything <laughs> else you want to share with the Boss Lady listeners? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please, please, please continue to stay on this journey with us. We're only getting better. We're only going to love you more. We want you to follow our boss ladies from season one and season two. We promise you that they will bless your soul the way that they have blessed our soul. Like even interviewing them was like, wait, 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 wait. oh, yeah, yeah, we, we have to go to the next question because it was just such an intimate, life-changing, happy experience uh, working with each and every boss lady that we've been gifted to work with, as well as our boss brother, Huey Scott. <laughs> so I definitely want to say that. And please join us at the Afros and Audios podcast in Philadelphia in October. We will put the link in our show notes as well as on social media. And please, please, please purchase our book. We want you to take part in our legacy. Monica L's book, Still a Lady, College Success Made Simple, My Positive Affirmations. My girl has three versions. One, two, and three for whatever you need, whether it's for the fellas, whether it's for the children, the young people, and whether it's for you, because you matter too. So stop putting everybody else first and put yourself on that list, okay? And it all started with still a lady. So you want to get that. You want to get it. All right. And we're also asking that you purchase Soul Biz on CoachKai.com. Okay, special offers. So we'll definitely put everything in our show notes. And we thank you for subscribing and we thank you for your support. We want to keep supporting your dreams and your movement as well. So please let us know what we can do. Woo, Coach Kaya, we <laughs> up on Amazon, huh? <laughs> we got to add Amazon to Amazon, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, we hope you really enjoyed connecting with the wonderful 
Boss Lady Conversation host, Coach Kaya, and learning some more about honoring your soul, creativity, and living with your purpose. Every single opportunity we share in today's episode can be found in our show notes. We love and appreciate you. In the meantime, please continue to stay boss up <laughs> and take time to celebrate your amazing selves. Thank yes. you so much. See you soon. <laughs>